Hey guys, Restoration36 here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to import images into Minecraft, like, as Minecraft blocks. So, um, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and actually make an image. So, I'm going to be doing a Monkey United image. So, let me just go ahead and make the thing transparent. And I'm going to cut to once I have my image done, because I haven't made it yet, but um, I'll be right back once this image is done. Alright, so I have my image here. It's not anything fancy or anything. This is just going to look cool in Minecraft. So we're going to save this as a PNG. And I'm just going to name it Monkey United Name dot PNG. I know I spelled Mon or United wrong, but it doesn't really matter what it's called. But um, then you're going to download this program called SpriteCraft Fool. I'll leave a link in the description, but uh, make sure you download that. And then you're going to double click on this folder after you extract everything and click on the run spritecraftfold.bat. This will run the spritecraft and make sure you do not exit out of that command prompt or else it will close the program. Um, but this will open this. So you're going to click browse here and find that image. So there. And there we have this. Um, you can set no max height and no max width off. Um, you'll see why this is important later. But basically, I'll make this image in a 30 by 30 block um, schematic. So you can see that looks very bad. And we can scroll in and see the blocks, but we can already pretty much see them out here. That doesn't look too good. So we're going to up this from 30 to 100. And I like to keep it symmetrical. Now it's starting to look better, but it's still pretty bad in color. So what you can do is you can go 200 by 200. And we're starting to see that this is looking pretty good. Um, we might do 250 by 250. Hmm. That's okay. You know, nothing really fancy. But... That might be doable. I think that's good since it's going to be very big already. Now you can save the image or save the schematic. You're going to want to save this schematic. Now this is for a server. If you'd like me to um, show you how to do it in single player, I can show you that. But that involves downloading another program. Same steps in this, but you know. I'm just going to name this Hi because it's easy to type. And I'm going to save that to the desktop. Alright, so we can exit out of this, exit out of this, and perfect. So now you're going to need to access your server folder. Now since we use a web hosting um, site, I'm going to use that using FileZilla, but however you get to your server files, you're going to need to do that. So I'll be right back once I get there. Alright guys, I got to my server um, folder. Um, if you want me to show you how to do this, I can show you. It's very simple, especially if you have like a server hosted site. But now we're going to go to our plugins folder, and you're going to need World Edit. I'll try to leave a link in the description as well for this plugin. Um, where is it? There it is, World Edit. And um, you're going to go to Schematics, and then just plug this one in there. So that's that, and now we can just exit out. We can delete that schematic as well, and then run Minecraft. So now you go into your server, go ahead and reload it, and I'll be right back because it's going to start getting laggy, I don't want to really film that, so one more cut. Alright, after the server crash and I restarted it, it's up. So now we should have the schematic into our world edit. So how do we access this? Well, pretty simple, we type slash skim, load, and then the format was, um, I think it was just schematic and then the file name was high so now we have it loaded so now we can do slash s space now remember since we made the width and height 250 blocks by 250 blocks that's how tall this will be now it's up in the sky so let's try to get a side view this is the wrong way so there we have monkey united let's try to render it all in um, gotta run this way a little bit so you can see it's kind of large, but it's um it's pretty detailed actually. I might have to up my render distance here. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to. Oh man, I usually keep it very low. <laughs> a 
let's see here. Video settings, render distance. Let's just make it 15. There we go. So that's a nice little um thing. Let's just uh, F1 that. Oh, yeah. That's pretty nice. Screenshot. <laughs> How's that for a YouTube thumbnail? <laughs> So um, there you go, guys. You can do this with any image as well, as you see, as you saw. I just plugged in a PNG file. Um, it's very simple, and the, of course, the bigger you make it, the more detailed this will be. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed. Um, we're probably going to be using this and another like um, Olympics thing for something special on the server. I'm not really sure full detail what that's going to be, but anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.